before all that, it's time for an amusing address on today's camp business from our resident junglist. Joe, go for it. Come sit on my knee. What? It's Russell Kane, everybody! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you do look like you've got the most beautiful carer in the world at the moment. That's what it's like. <laughs> uh, well, Linford's gone, but I don't know about the rest of you. Gillian's demise is still as fresh as manure from a human's body to me. Hmm? Did you hear everyone's? Did you hear Sean's response? All's fair in love and hate. You really hated, didn't you? He even looked hopeful she'd been shot when Dom said it. They've killed her. They've actually shot her. Great. I'll put the kettle on. Right? <laughs> Wouldn't it have been brill on the bridge if instead of paper cannons and fireworks, herbs had just exploded out of her vag all over the jungle? <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. Careful. There's some minge on that basil. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> have you noticed how Dom seems to be stepping up to the plate lately with some of his warm friend-making banter? Here's some highlights. No, don't patronise me. Shut up. Boring. Right, and my personal favourite, imagine working at Tesco's. <laughs> right? <laughs> Make me a cup of tea and when you're done, go back to Poland. No offence. Right? <laughs> and did you hear poor Stace? Do you think I'm middle class? <laughs> Smear me in hummus. Free to bet. What does it mean? And uh, the worst part, the worst part of Dom's trial, did you see it? He had to sift through all that stinking excrement trying to find a star. Katie Weissel! <laughs> X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> It was pure McKeith porn, that task, wasn't it? I kept expecting the ghost of her to return, like at the start of Hamlet. Joby! Joby! Right? Oh. Oh, Dom! Dom, what a charmer Dom was to Jenny. Do you know what you look like, Jenny? You look like the horrible future that Kayla might have. That's lovely. In brackets, what a haggard, finished, wobbly crone you are. Close brackets. Lovely, Dom. Really lovely. What do you do on Valentine's Day? Morning, wife. Happy Valentine's older. Isn't it, a, isn't it a shame that nearly all long-term couples fall into mechanical, lifeless sex within five years and there's no chance of a true frisson of passion ever being retained on any meaningful level? Your flowers are at the petrol station. I'm going to knock one out in a sock. Goodbye. <laughs> right? Ah, and the warm tales of childhood. Weren't they lovely and warm? Although I think there was some... Ri sorry, you two, do you mind if I've finished? Sorry. And, uh, <laughs> start snogging each other like... <laughs> and, uh, I think Agro had some surrealists teaching at his school. Did you, I don't know about the rest of you, but for me, like a dead arm or a flick of the towel was traditional, or they got me in the usual way. What was that, Agro? Hiding your shoes, stealing your dinner money? No, man. The old pin on the floor to create a Veruca. Classic. <laughs> Is it? And, uh, and uh, Dom Jolly, they called me Rotter. Jenny, we moved a chair. <laughs> Did you hear short? I love these stories. Aye, what we used to do was break into the old bull's factory, right? Then when we were in there, we smashed the shit out of it and sold the grog to the ice cream man. Then, buzzing off that, they kicked the windows of the school in and bit the heads off the shit in hamsters. Memories. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> <laughs> so that's what Russell is panting about, but what about our panel? Earlier the discussion turned to the subject of potential winners, so let's pick up where we started off, starting with Sean. I love Sean Ryder, and I love his stories, they're very reminiscent of my youth, although mine's a bit darker. I remember one of my mates made love to a dog with a pencil, <laughs> and I said, that's so wrong. I've, I've started so wrong, I don't know if we can be friends anymore. And he says, look, the dog likes it, and the dog followed him around for ages. So, you know who you are. <laughs> I don't know what to say but I, I, Sean Ryder's amazing. I've met him in real life. I know him in he's, real life. Uh, he's right nice. He's good and he, he's having his teeth done, haven't they? They look nice. Do you think he's a potential winner? He's <laughs> easily a potential winner. Him and Stacey in it. Well, which them. one's it going to be? Well, I, I like Sean best, if I'm honest. Yeah, I like it. Oh, what? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think the question is this. Who's losing their self-perception from beneath her cute playgirl veneer? Kayla's feminine brawn emerges. Dom jolly, cool wit, yet some starting to find it icy, acerbic, <laughs> cruel even. We can only hope that camp darlings Stacey and Sean don't start a similar emotional exfoliation. It's not easy being so intensely focused upon. In this career, the same could easily happen to me. Members of our panels will agree. The public eye is intense. I mean, only last night, Donna and I were chatting about it over drinks in my room. And I said, <laughs> exposing oneself is risky. And as soon as I put it to her, she swallowed it. 